We're back here with game two of Standard between Oliver King at the bottom of the screen and Evan Bellow at the top after Oliver took game one. You can see um, Evan's on uh, Ruminant Red. His deck is on, his hand is on screen at the moment. He's taken a mulligan. I can see only had one land, and I think I like his hand that he has right now. Yeah, I think he can't go, especially if the two Earth Shakers. If we switch, I'll just switch over to Whiskey Burn and see his hand that he's kept. Fate of Push is going to be very good. Walking the Vista is going to be handy. Liliana. Liliana is also very good. good. Going to do a lot of work. It's probably a bit annoying for the viewers to keep switching between hands, so. Uh, Evan runs oh. out of cards very quickly, so I might actually keep it on with, uh, Oliver's after this turn. I I feel like switching hands when people are on play is uh, um it's kind of a an in between thing, of course. Interesting decision here. We we'll go for the walking this turn, this turn. Yes. Probably one of the things you can do with walking ballista is block and then shoot. You won't be able to do that because of the um, Earth shake you can rush to cause that is if he plays Earth shake you can right here. Yeah, his problem here is all of these, except for the uncock crashes, they're just going to all get shot down by Liliana. Yeah. Um, not looking too good for him. Now, with Ancrop Crasher, I don't think it will be exert, so he can actually block and then shoot down the, the Bomad Courier. Or he could, yeah. See if there's any. Ah, he did exert it. So the, the exert here means that he can safely, uh, Oliver can safely drop down Liliana because the Crash is not going to come back and get her next turn. Yeah, and I wouldn't have been for an exert here because it costs way more than it allows uh, you to do. Because right now, Ancroft Crasher won't be able to attack next turn, which is basically the same as that it was blocked this turn. Except for that he won't actually be able to hit Liliana, which is not something you want to do. And look, looking at Oliver's hand, he, he just has a very good hand. I, I don't think... The Ramanut Red can beat this. Yeah, um, because right now he can even play Liliana, plus Liliana, kill the Bomad Courier, and keep up a Faith of Push. So even if um, Elmer draws another Red Soul so he can play to Urchik Kenras, Liliana will survive. Okay, that won't be possible. Oh, wait, did he already play a land? Yeah, yeah, he played the. Second Blooming Marsh, which he drew for the turn. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so so Evan's got the two crashes, um, which which would take down Liliana, but he needs to draw a red source here, and which he doesn't. Even, yeah, he does get does draw a Bomad Carrier, which allows him to attack, but even if he actually had drawn a red source, Walking Ballista could have pinged off one of the Urchaker Kenras. To... Mm. So this is why Kali's death being exerted that turn is really not a good thing to do. You don't really gain anything with it and it came back to bite him very hard. Yeah. Sim Sim might actually be interested in abrading and then playing Bomat Courier. That'll be an interesting line because it'll it'll put Liliana to three, she'll tick to four, but she'll have the choice of either taking out the Bumat Carrier or the Uncrop Crasher, reducing the Uncrop Crasher, which yeah. would, would then enable him to play the Earthshaker Kenra and finish off Liliana. Of course, he might also want to just keep back all creatures. They're not sure whether that's the right play here. 
We'll have to see how this turns out. Yeah, I, I think he's got to get in for the get in with the Bomat Courier because the Uncrop Crasher can exert next turn to remove a blocker, but he doesn't. As long as the blocker is lower than um, one power, uh, than two power, uh, you can actually just use the uh, Shaker Kenra to prevent that block. So, yeah, Plant Token here is going to be able to do that, but Fatal Push is hiding behind. That's, I think, yeah. Fatal Push will finish off the Crasher once the plant blocks. He, he heaven just really needs that that second red source. Yeah, he didn't draw that this turn. I feel like his best play here is Urchik Kenra and Liliana. Is she at five now or five? Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's. Very nasty. So you could kill the voice of sending, it could kill Nissa, then Liliana would still be there, which is the biggest problem, and they can't actually finish off Liliana. Seems Whiskey Burn is uh, still rejoicing about the two Caddy's <laughs> yeah, It seems to go after Liliana here. Um, oh, wait, he's also got two female planeswalkers. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, so it's kind of a choice. He, he's going to go for finishing off Nissa. Uh, Oh, he's going to go for trying to... I, I, I think you really need to pick one or the other here. Yeah. I'm not sure. I feel like this situation is just completely desperate. <laughs> I mean, he's in a position here where the, the Uncrop Crasher was not exerted. So Liliana's going to have the choice next turn of either reducing it or killing one of the other creatures, but reducing it's going to... I think he's probably just going to kill on no Shaker can I? Yeah, which means the, the Crasher can get in for three, but so I suspect his problem here... Okay, he's going to get the can Earth Shaker here with Fatal Push. <laughs> Evan says, of course you have that. Yeah, um, this is pretty much the reason why Green Black Constrictor wins from. Uh, yeah, and you can actually use Never to Return, Never Sign of Never to Return here to even kill the Uncrop Crasher and prevent any problem. And this is why Green Black Constrictor is good against Ramana Bread, just has so many good ways to deal with its threat. I feel like we'll see the never come down here. And even just with an Earthshaker, Kenner and a shock in hand, which don't look like doing much now. Yeah, especially with two opposing planeswalkers on the other side. Um, he could, if he's going to cast a never return here, no, there's no, really no outs here for uh, if Evan that I can see. If Oliver doesn't play the uh, Never to Return, he can actually prevent both blockers, perhaps, and then maybe kill off Liliana, but I don't think that's going to really... If he, if he, if he doesn't play the Never Return here, then um, Evan can actually kill one of the Planeswalkers next turn. 
course, Oliver doesn't know that, so we might actually see that happen. Okay, but, um, taking the safe we route. See, yeah, we do see the never true Also, I think that uh, Ankrop Crasher is actually somewhat the best target that never to return can actually hit. Because anything above that, except if Bori bringers were brought in, but um, it won't be able to kill a Hazard or something. So. Does Oliver have uh, Delirium? I don't think so, right? Oh, it, he it's has. Oh, uh, he uh, had artifact, a creature, force instant speed. sorcery. I oh, so the never return gave him the the fourth type. Yep. And I think we've seen yeah. a concession now out of uh, Evan. Yep. And it is. He concedes two 0 to Oliver. Yep. 